Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of, of Learn Force Bot with me. Last time out, we focused on the an overview of each of these tabs along the top uh, and what they mean for you as a user, and we did a quick deep dive into the homepage tab in particular. This time, we're going to focus on searching data. Now, if we select that, we get taken to the search data interface. Uh, we briefly showed this in, in, in the last episode. From here, this is where we do our searches um, and build our visualization. So what sets ThoughtSpot apart from, from other BI tools is, is the ability to build visualizations, charts, tables, using natural language querying, um, as opposed to your traditional methods of um, scripting or double-clicking or dragging and dropping uh, and so on. So once we get to this screen, we can select our data source that we want to do analysis on. So by default, it will set to the last data source that you used, uh, but that could be changed by clicking on this drop down here and selecting uh, the data source that you want. So once you've selected that, uh, the columns available will come in on the left-hand side. Now by default, it will just show you uh, your top columns, your most popular columns. Um, but you're able to search on, on any of these. You can also change how you view them on the left-hand side. You can view them all by category. Um, so uh, a view of all the columns split by measures, attributes, and dates. And if you prefer, you can also just look them, look at them in, a, in an A to Z list as well. So once that's all sorted, you can start um, querying your data. So I'm just going to build a quick, simple view. So we type, type in sales. What's has smart search? So it knows that um, this is matching sales on the left-hand side. It would also show you the, la the most popular um, uh, uh, searches that have been done on this data set. So in this case, I am going to use region and click go. And ThoughtSpot has built as a quick column chart showing sales by region. Now, by default, it will uh, build the chart that is most suitable for your data. In this case, we have one dimension uh, and one measure. So a bar chart is, is the most suitable chart. But if you'd like, you can change this by going on the change visualization icon. And anything that's not grayed out can be selected. Anything that is grayed out, you can simply hover over and it will tell you exactly why you can't use that chart. So for a heat map, for example, you would need two attributes and one measure. If you click on this um, chart configuration icon, uh, that looks like settings. Uh, you can then edit this existing chart with things like color. So if you click on the x-axis, we can change from, from yellow to green, for example. We can change our um, formatting for our numbers. And within settings here, we can also, for example, put all labels on. Um, so yeah, any customization of a chart can be done there. From this information button, we can see exactly what the query is doing. Um, this case is very simple. It's just computing sales for each combination of region. But for those more technically inclined, you can also look at the, the, the SQL that is actually behind the view. Um, so you can see exactly the code that's, that's, um, that's building out this particular view. Any view you create, you, you can view it as a chart by default. But you can also click this icon here, and you can simply view it in a table. Um, and you can switch between the two uh, just by clicking each one. So what makes ThoughtSpot really powerful is the ability to add uh, keywords. Now, a full list of keywords can be found um, within ThoughtSpot's documentation. They are effectively words that help you define a search. So words that don't act aren't actually columns in your data, but words that you can use to build the views. So for example, if we clear that search and let's look at sales um, region again, and let's just use the keyword monthly. And if we click go, it immediately puts, um, builds a chart showing the sales by month and split by region. Um, so even though monthly isn't in our data, it recognizes that we ha um, monthly is a keyword and brings in our date field and shows up by month. Um, and yeah, and as you can see, a full list uh, of the words available is on uh, the ThoughtSpot documentation website. Uh, so it's not just date keywords, there's a whole bunch um, of um, text words, um, general and um, numbers as well. That's just a simple example. Um, what we can also do in search is use filters. Um, now we can do this 
um, on the left hand side by hovering over and clicking this filter. But what's even easier is that you can simply type the value in that you want to search by. So in this case, if we just type in east, of course, what recognizes that east is a field in our region column. If we click go, the gray signifies that you're filtering by east. And we can see that that's now showing sales by region over month for uh, just the east region. And if we click in on our information button, again, we can see exactly what that's doing in the, in the SQL. Now, one last thing to show quickly is that you can right click any data point and drill down into a, um, a column of your choice. So in this case, I've just clicked November 2021. If I drill down into state, I am now seeing um, the sales in November 2021 by state for the East region. And you can do that with any, um, any attribute, which is very, very useful. So anyway, that's a quick whistle stop tour of the search data function. Uh, next time we'll focus on, on answers and live boards and show you how to build them out. Cheers.